Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to install Groovy on Windows operating system and this is going to be very easy and interesting. So here a prerequisite is a Java should already be installed. Java should be installed on your system. So you can go to your Windows system and then go to command line. Go to command prompt and search for Java space hyphen version and this should show you your Java version. Just in case you do not have Java installed, you will first need to install Java. You can either get a Java JRE or a JDK. Now I will have uh, some links in the description below this video where you can get the videos on how to install Java on Windows just in case you do not have it. And I will start with the next step. So now we have to go and install Groovy. So I will go to my browser and search for Groovy and here we have an official website so here this is groovy-lang.org i will go here and here if you go to the download section you can see we have all these options so you can uh, download from here or if you go a little down you can also see this groovy and we have the windows installer so you can also get the windows installer from here and also if you go to the documentation section and here if you go down so if you go to install groovy and open this web page so you can see you can find all these options here and if you go a little down here you can see all these um, options where you can install Groovy on different operating system so you can install on Windows by using this installer and then we also have if you go again here and go to download Groovy and go down you can see the system requirements so in case you want groovy 3 you should have java 8 or above for groovy 2.5 to 2.6 we should have java 7 or above so you can also see the jvm requirement so we basically need jvm for groovy program to run and jvm you can get either when you get a jre or a jdk and i will have uh, links for that in the description section of this video so for now i will just go to the windows and i will click on windows installer and it will download a windows installer and i will just go here and see my installer so i will see it should be in the downloads folder and yes it's here so let me open the folder and it is here Wind uh, groovy installer i will double click this and it should start the installer to install groovy so i will collapse all these windows and you can see it is getting started so this is unpacking data and now we can select a language from here and then say ok and this is the installation wizard I will say next and I agree now here you can select the type of install so I will keep it by default and say next and here you can see the location or the destination folder where your groovy will be installed so again i will i am keeping it by default it will go to program files x86 groovy folder and i will say next and you can also see all these options are here let me just uh, say do not create any shortcuts and i will say install and it will start the installation and i will say okay and this will start the installation process and once this is completed we should have groovy installed on our system and this is done it says installation complete and i will say next and here you can see path to groovy home and this is important you should add this to your path environment variable so that you can access groovy from anywhere and i am going to check this create groovy home so it will create a path called groovy home create a variable called groovy home and i will show you in a moment what this means and then we also want to add this to the path environment variable and i will say next and next and uh, it says show readme i will say finish and it will start the readme so here you can have some 
um, documentation on Groovy so as of now I'll just close this and for the path let me just show you what that what the path means is uh, if I go to my computer or this PC and right click go to properties and go to advanced system settings and go to environment variables now here you can see it has added groovy home so it has already added a variable called groovy underscore home and if I go to path environment variable and I go to edit you can see here it has already added the groovy home bin folder in the path environment variable and this will enable us to use groovy from any location on our system so now I will close all this and go to the command line or go to command prompt and say groovy space hyphen hyphen version and let me see if I get some output so this should show me the version of groovy installed on this system and let me just wait for getting the version of groovy I can also say let me open a new command prompt yes you can see it has come here it took some time and now it has it is showing this groovy version 3.0.0 and I can also say groovy space hyphen v and this should also show me the version of groovy so this is installed and if I say which groovy uh, or I say where groovy it should be where groovy it gives me the location of groovy so you can see we have groovy on this location on my system so now I should be able to use uh, groovy and you can also find it has installed a groovy console so I can start this groovy console from here and this should start a groovy console that we can use to write something so if I just say uh, print I will say hello world and I go here and I say run it is printing hello world so you can also uh, see we are able to uh, write groovy programs here of course we will be using uh, IDE to write groovy programs and this is how you can install groovy on windows operating system I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching